This is Pastor Paul Graham, Senior Pastor of Restoration Praise Center, and I'm your host on Bible Boot Camp. We welcome you to our sixth day of Bible Boot Camp. We are now in our sixth day of Bible Boot Camp, and we are so excited. We are ready to do God's bidding. We're ready to do His will. And so I know it's not easy waking up in the morning, but mm, we've got to do it. And it's always a pleasure waking up because once we wake up and we are part of not only this worship experience, but we can be worshiped. We can be worshipped to others. So we say to everyone, wake up and stretch your spiritual muscles and, sh and, and just share in this time that we're having with God. Welcome to Bible Boot Camp. So we want to thank everyone for joining us. Before we even begin, we believe that mornings are better when you talk to God first. That's what we believe. Mornings are better when you talk to God first. And so we want to talk to him first. We want to make him a part of our day. And so it, it doesn't make any sense waking up and just saying, God, whatever. No, we're saying, God, it's all about you. So at this very time, we're going to ask you to just bow your heads right where you are. As we look to him who's the author and finisher of our faith let's pray together father again we come before you thanking you for life and for strength and the opportunity of prayer and praise and thanksgiving and this morning we're pausing at this time to simply say we love you we adore you and we want to live for you we believe that we can start over again in you so we ask for a double portion of your holy spirit to walk with us this morning in jesus name Amen. And so this morning, I want to welcome you again to our sixth day of Bible Boot Camp. Well, all we've been talking about this whole month long is having a new beginning, starting all over with Christ, starting all over with Him. And we know this much, that God is saying to each one of us that we can, we can start anew. We can start with Him. And in starting with Him, we believe that all things are possible all things are possible and all things are possible with him if there's anything that we can change in our lives it can happen all, all, all week long we've been talking about change some people say they want to be consistent some people say they want to pray more some people say they want to be a better spouse some people say they want to be a, a better student some people have been praying for so many things but today I want to talk a little bit about peace asking God for peace because God can do that for us you know there's a, a, a special song that I want to share with you and today really today I want to share two songs with you and as you marinate in this I'm also going to ask you to take the time out to share this with someone else it has been such a great privilege that those uh, there's been individuals who have been on our Bible boot camp app so take the time out to download our app because it's not just about Bible Boot Camp. Would you get to uh, watch sermons there and share that, share, share those with others? And also know this much, there are other individuals who have um, uh, ministries there. For those who are with us on Periscope, uh, Sister Leah and her husband, they have their ministry on there also. So take the time to download it because we're all about sharing Christ. And now I wanna share this song with you. It's a song that we uh, listened to two months ago and I'm just uh, so excited about Monique Steele Griffiths. Her music is amazing. Her talent is awesome. And I, I love this much about her ministry that she's very humble. How can I say thanks for the things that he has done for me? And while you listen to this song, take this moment out, really take this moment out to just jot down in the chat room or on uh, Facebook Live or wherever to simply say one thing that you're thankful to God for. To God be the glory. Oh, 
If I had 10,000 tongues, it wouldn't be enough to say thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for the many, many, many things. Oh, God, I thank you for being my friend. Oh, God, I thank you for being my Savior. Lord, I thank you. Lord, I thank you. Lord, I thank you. Lord, I thank you. Lord, I thank you, Lord. Somebody say hallelujah. What an amazing God that we serve. I want to thank him for all the things that he has done. And so in this, I want to share with you. I got to share with you this word. I got to share with you this word because this word is real. And I believe that every time we get into this word, we can understand more and more that we serve a wonderful God, a God, a God that cares for us. He wants only the best for us to see the best in us. So as you look at this word, I ask that the Holy Spirit will bless us because there's so many individuals today that cannot have this new beginning, right? Because they don't have peace. Many times we don't have peace. We don't live in peace. You know, someone told me the other day, uh, they said that they, they saw me at a certain time when I was looking young. And then they looked at me and they saw that it feels like I was being stressed out. And I've got to tell you, honestly, it's... If, if, if I can believe what that person was saying, I can honestly say it's because I didn't have peace. I know this much, that God is giving us peace. He's given us real peace. But we've got to say, God, I want to have that peace. Let's bar our heads together as we look at this text that's going to catapult us from anxiety to peace. Father, be with us. Bless us. Strengthen us. Hold on to us, Lord. And I'm asking in a special way. That as we hear this word, we'll be doers of the word. In Jesus' name, amen. Got to share this with you. There's a Bible text that tells us in Psalm chapter 29, verse 1. Come on, y'all. Psalm chapter 29, verse 1. This word tells us the Lord gives strength to his people. The Lord blesses his people with peace. The Lord gives strength to his people. The Lord blesses his people with with peace. I believe that God wants to move us from anxiety to peace. There's so many individuals going through so much in their lives. Everyone, everyone deals with some anxiety sometime or some level of depression or sadness or being despondent. And, and, and maybe uh, we don't have peace because we're stuck in a sin issue, stuck in a rut, stuck in a death situation. And we just feel like we can't get out. It stops us from being a proper individual, a proper Christian, a proper husband, a proper father or mother, a proper sister or family member. It gets in the way of our everyday living because we have not accepted the peace that God has given us. We have not ex accepted that gift because if the Lord blesses us with peace, then how come we're not receiving it? You see, what's so beautiful about this is that God is giving it to us. The question is, are we receiving it? When I look at this text again, this text helps me to understand that the Lord gives strength to his people. Look at this. He gives strength to his people. The Lord blesses his people with peace. The Lord gives strength to his people. The Lord blesses his people with peace. That means if you're going through some issues in life, if you're going through some stuff in your life, it's important to know that not only does God give us uh, peace, but he gives us strength. 
which means that he gives us strength so that we can make it for whatever the issues we're going through we can make it because he gives us people strength strength to handle that situation strength to handle that hurt strength to handle uh whatever life has to offer us you know i was looking in the chat room earlier and i saw that there were individuals who have lost loved ones the individuals going through illness the individuals going through financial difficulty the individuals that's going through um um uh, family issues or relationship issues and i declare to you right now that if you call on the lord he will give us strength he will give you strength and this this text right here is not just a promise but it's also a mandate that this mandate is simply saying that if the lord gives strength to his people and if the lord blesses his people with peace then what have we been asking for are we asking for stuff are we asking for cars are we asking for homes are we asking for clothes are we what what does the people of god ask for and i need you to know that we ought to be a people that asks for peace peace that passeth all understanding peace that when you lay down you can sleep peace that when someone has been giving you i'm talking about grief you can still live in peace someone who's going through a, a period in their life where they need a level of comfort god still gives peace and he wants you to have peace i i i look at this and i say what does god want from his people he wants you to have strength and he wants you to have peace today is the day today is the day of strength and peace today is the hour of strength and peace today whatever goes on in your life today you want strength and peace and god can do it for you he can do it for me he can do it for you he can do it for us because that's the kind of god that we serve a god that just wants to give us peace have you been struggling with something in your life have you been going through issues in your life where you feel like you're not having peace i need you to know that the god that i serve can give you that peace i want to pray for each one of you today but i gotta tell you that if you need peace if you want peace then you're going to need god in your life today we're going to do something a little bit different Today, I want to share with you, first of all, that uh, uh, with that peace that you believe that you can have, make your today, you make your, your list for the day, make your to-do list for the day. And your to-do list for the day looks something like this. Let's look at this. Your to-do list. Because now you have strength and you have peace, let's, let's look at today's to-do list. Number one, practice kindness today. Number two, let go of what I can't control. Cool, that'll give you a lot of peace right there. Number three, count your blessings. Hmm? Count your blessings. Number three, listen to the voice of the Holy Spirit. Is that all right? Listen to the voice of the Holy Spirit. And number four, walk with God.